where local musicians and artists are unrated, underappreciated, unnoticed, battered, abused, and swept under the rug. Living show to show without secure benefits like medieval jesters. Run with the kids. We are actually listening to it right now. I played a song for my hamster that just died. Like I said, I like Underplayed and underpaid. Real local music. Use what you have. All the canned rock stuff. And the canned rock stuff too. Chuck one around. We won't get into that. That's a good thing. Mondays at 6 p.m. All the specials we have really cool, amazing, it's incredible. Like, I need to rise up to this level. Phenomenal. Definitely incredible. Probably the coolest. Strong. You're a people-aholic. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're killing me. I'll try not to swear. CFRU 93.5. Wow, the food was delicious. It had a smorgasbord of awesomeness. <laughs> It's not your, uh, your regular breakfast sausage. Well, I also uh, ate some cocktail leaders and drank some melon liqueur one, one morning very early on the tour bus. Mmm, melon liqueur and cocktail wieners. We could have called our show that. <laughs> melon liqueur and cocktail wieners on the tour bus. Or the tour bus a la cocktail. Anyway, I'm rambling. There seems to be a real issue with uh, CD tray in here where the CD tray one does not work, so it might take a couple seconds, but uh, I'm going to get through this. You're listening to Underplayed and Underpaid. I'm Brian McNeil. Uh, Braden said he might be joining today, but we'll see if he shows up. And uh, yeah. So uh, last week I was supposed to play some Jason Rasso and I had some technical difficulties similar to uh, CFRU was having today. And. Um, I wasn't able to to promote the show other than, you know, talking about it repeatedly, uh, that he was playing with the Guelph Youth um, Music Group at, uh, that was at the E-Bar uh, last Wednesday. So, uh, well, I, I got I got the interview and I got his music today. The album is called The Red Arrow by Jason Rasso. And uh, it's very chill, very smooth, very, uh, very jazzy. And uh, I, I hope that you will all enjoy so we're going to get into a couple songs first. Uh, the first two songs are called Nightcrawler and Corner Pocket. And uh, coming up in a little bit, we'll get to musiclives.ca, what's going on downtown Guelph. And uh, I promise that I will play some Unleashed Archers for my buddy Aaron Dale over at uh, musiclives.ca. And I'll also play an underground Bradley Knoll cut. All right, so here we go with some... Jason Rasso on 93.3 CFRU. Thank you. 
Man, wasn't that smooth. All right, we got me opening up the tray. Here we go. And here's the interview with Jason Rasso. And uh, do enjoy. He's a very nice gentleman. This is Brian McNeil for 93.3 CFRU, University of Guelph Community Campus Radio. Our show is underplayed and underpaid, and I'm sitting with Jason Rasso. So, Jason Rasso, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. Thanks for having me. I want to say thanks for uh, doing the interview, and uh, can you tell the listeners a little bit about the style of music that you uh, perform? Uh, I would say it's kind of a, a, a cross of uh, jazz and funk. I would, I would probably say that that's the, uh, the way to describe it. Uh, certain tunes will be you know, more on the funk side, other tunes will be kind of uh, straight ahead jazz, and then uh, hopefully there's a nice mix of the two, and uh, you know, some blues and, and some Latin in there too, but, but jazz and funk kind of are where, where I'm at. Sweet. Uh, what's your band called? Uh, we're called the Jason Rasso Quartet, and uh, obviously it's a four-piece band uh, with myself on bass, uh, Rob Hannum on keys, Brent Rowan on sax, and Ennio Doretto on drums. And uh, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good tight band. We've been together about four years now, and it's, uh, it's a good band, yeah. Right on. So four years together, you're gelling definitely. Uh, yeah. How many years uh, have you been uh, studying music? Uh, I've been studying uh, seriously since I was uh, 14 or 15, so for a good uh, good 20 years now, and uh, I'm still still studying hard and practicing every day, and there's still so much to learn. So, um, you know, I, I've been at it a long time, but uh, there's always something new to uh, to keep at. So, great. Uh, do you also do vocals? No vocals. Uh, uh, no one wants to hear me sing. So. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I write instrumental music, and that's kind of where my heart is. So, uh, occasionally we'll have a, a tune. Like over the years, we've had a few vocal tracks here and there with some guest singers and stuff. But uh, primarily, it's it's instrumental music. That's great. So it's it's a pretty much a live groove every time you play. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, because of the jazz side of things, there's lots of improv. So it's um, you know we have a framework for for the songs, but. Uh, yeah, everyone's free to kind of play their own solos and do their own thing, and and uh, you know we just kind of meet back at the end of the song and 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 tie it together. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, you know the groove part is is where it's at. I, I you know I want that in my in my music. I want there to be um, you know people tapping their foot and and wanting to dance and and stuff. So it's 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 obviously an important part of of what we do. So. Right on. Uh, who were your musical influences uh, early in life, or even later, uh, if it switched? Uh, it definitely there was a switch uh, when I started. It was uh, you know it was kind of the early '90s, and there was lots of lots of rock bands, and and uh, but as I kind of got playing bass more, I got into the funkier stuff and the jazz stuff. So you know, I got into Miles Davis and and Charles Mingus and Jaco Pastorius and all, all these great jazz musicians and but I like the funk stuff too like Bootsy Collins and Parliament and James Brown and, mm. and all that stuff so uh, kind of when my playing was really coming together I was listening to all of it so it made sense that you know uh, it would kind of converge at some point and uh, hopefully into my own my own thing and and uh, so far it's been it's been a lot of fun and it's been a good good experience so. okay um what are you working on now, and what do you have upcoming uh, for gigs? Uh, well, right now we've been uh, kind of promoting our, our latest disc, uh, which is the Red Arrow. Um, so we've been playing shows in the, uh, kind of in the area for that. Uh, so next up is uh, E-Bar, uh, Wednesday, uh, January 18th. That's a 9 o'clock start with um, the Guelph Youth Jazz Ensemble is going to open the show. So oh, some, uh, some high school students who are great jazz players, so they're going to play a set, and then we'll... We'll get on, you know, maybe quarter to ten or so, and and uh, and play a, a nice long set. So then we're looking forward to that. And then, you know, lots of gigs coming up. We, uh, February we head to uh, Montreal and Ottawa for a couple shows, and uh, so it's been busy. It's uh, and I'm starting to work on on kind of the next album, getting some tunes together, and uh, hopefully the quartet will go in and record later this year. And so it's going to be a busy year, but. Uh, um, that's the way you want it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want it to be busy. Um, yeah. How can uh, listeners contact you or check your music out online? Okay, uh, the best place to check it out is uh, www.jasonrassomusic.com. Uh, that has everything. Uh, links to all, uh, you know, Facebook, MySpace, all the uh, 
all the stuff that people get bombarded with now. <laughs> and you have to. I mean, that's just the way, uh, you know, the, the market is now. So that's the best place to check us out. And there's there's song clips on there and video clips and bios and, and uh, you know, all kinds of stuff on there. So that, that's where to check us out. Right on. Um, what is your affiliation to Little Shop of Guitars? Uh, to be honest, I, ha- I have no affiliation with Little Shop of Guitars. I, oh. I teach at... Uh, along McQuaid here in Guelph um, my brothers uh, own own the shop so mm-hmm. uh, you know they kind of have their own thing going and uh, uh, it's Adrian and Chris and uh, they're doing a great job down there and that's uh, you know their baby and and uh, for me I just I wanted to kind of do my own thing and and uh, you know we're kind of into different styles of music and stuff so uh, that's the you know just the way it kind of worked out but um, they're doing well down there and uh Hopefully it keeps going for him. Right on. Um, are you familiar with the name Johnny Chapman? Johnny Chapman? I don't, I'm don't. i not sure I am. He's an uh, under-18 uh, national jazz ensemble bass player who plays with the Derek Hines Quartet on Tuesdays at Van Gogh's Ear. Oh, okay, and, okay. Uh, yeah, you should, you should come out I've and check it, him out. I checked out Derek Hines, but I, I think he had a different bass player maybe at the time. Yeah. Uh, so I'll have to come check that out. That's great. Thanks for letting me know that. No problem. And, uh, yeah, yeah, everybody should come great, out. great singer, and uh, he's got a cool vibe going on. And uh, I didn't know it was still going on. Uh, I went down a couple weeks, and it wasn't happening. And then, uh, So that's good to know that it's yeah, every still, Tuesday. still going. That's great. Okay. Um, if you could have dinner with anybody, a live or dead, uh, who would it be and why? Uh, I think right now, although this it's always subject to change, <laughs> it's, uh, I've been reading a lot about Frank Sinatra, so I think Frank Sinatra would be the guy. He just, uh, from what I've been reading, he seemed like he was a pretty, uh, a pretty interesting guy, and I'm a big fan of kind of his music, obviously, and he's just a great singer and. And I'm really into like classic movies too. So you know, he was uh, obviously a good actor as well. And you know, things like From Here to Eternity and Guys and Dolls and all that stuff. I I love that stuff. So he's kind of a nice uh, mix of the two worlds. I I kind of really like. So I think I, I think it would be him. That's terrific. Well, yeah. I, thank you very much, Jason Rasso, for doing the interview. Thank um, you so much. Thanks for having me. And uh, make sure you you check out this. The show will be played on Monday, so Wednesday of this week. Make sure you get out to the E Bar. Opens at 10 p.m. or the uh, doors open at nine. It's uh, seven dollars at the door, and uh, like I said, the Guelph Youth Jazz Ensemble will open, and then we'll uh, the quartet will play a, a nice long set. So come check it out. All right. This has been Brian McNeil with Jason Rasso on Underplayed and Underpaid 93.3 CFRU University of Guelph Community Campus Radio www.cfru.ca. Check us out Mondays at 6:05 p.m. <laughs>
that was nice, wasn't it, folks? Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little bit more jazz in the background while uh, yeah, while I give you a little bit of news of what's going on in town. And uh, I want to say thanks to Jason Rosso uh, for doing the interview. Uh, the first two songs were Nightcrawler and Corner Pocket, and uh, the the second two songs or the last two songs, the last th- uh, of the songs was called The Red Arrow and The Colbert Bump. Uh, rather witty and uh, great music. Really chill, and uh, I'd, I'd hope to get out to see them. I was not able to get out last Wednesday as uh, school in the morning, but... All right, so moving on. Well, maybe I'll turn this down a little bit. Uh, I'm a bit loud in my own headphones. So, all right, what do we got going on on www.musiclives.ca? Music dead? We think not. Aaron Dale and the boys down there, we're uh, on the featured events, got... Uh, D.O.W. Punk Night, Guelph Local D.O.W. Spinning your favorite punk tunes all night, 10 p.m., 19 plus, no cover. Kind of interesting to hear that over uh, jazz. And, um, all right, uh, live jazz every Tuesday at Van Gogh's Ear, 8 p.m. They start early now, so you can get your food at uh, Salsateria, Taco Tuesdays, I believe it's still called. And, um, yeah, actually, uh, I was lucky enough to enjoy a burger they got five dollar deal monday tuesday wednesday five dollars after 5 p.m so i want to thank nicole down there for taking my phone call as i was in a bit of a rush and uh always good people down there moving on a vicious lullaby come enjoy a night of cheap music and local and support local musicians a vicious lullaby Oh, a vicious lullaby, I apologize. Uh, with special guests, Rockwood Band, Hometown Roots, sharing the stage together for the first time. Music starts at 9 p.m. Sharp as both bands will be playing for over an hour. 19 plus, 5 bucks. And that's at the ANAF, or the Army Navy Air Force Club, 344 on Gordon next to Harvey's. Moving on. Paul McLeod, that's tonight. Two sets of local musician Paul McLeod. $2 mixed drinks before 12. Uh, two and two, 19 plus, free show. Great guy. Highly recommend you coming down. His covers are incredible. Um, name that tune. That's on the 25th. That's every Wednesday, I believe. Uh, Aaron Dale does the uh, Name That Tune trivia at the Jimmy Jazz. Uh, go down with some friends and win some pictures. I won't say pictures of what. And uh, Off the Floor Fest on January 26th. Eleven presents the fourth annual Off the Floor Fest, featuring two stages and performances by Teenage Kicks, Whale Tooth, Grays, Sam Coffee, and the Iron Lungs, the Folk, the Dirty Nil, and Hinendar. Doors at 7 p.m. or 7:30 p.m. Bands at 8 p.m. sharp. Uh, advanced tickets eight bucks. Available at Empire shortly. Maybe not quite yet, but ten dollars at the door. Nineteen plus, and that's at Van Gogh's Ear, down at the corner of Wyndham and McDonnell. All right, so. Thanks for Music Lives. I highly recommend everybody check it out, www.musiclives.ca, if you want to know what's going on downtown Guelph. All right. As I promised earlier, I'm going to get into a little something different than what I've been playing for the first half of this show. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to go onto uh, Facebook and find Underplayed and Underpaid, we have a page. I created it last week, and uh, all the uh, all the shows are listed with uh, with all the different performers. And uh, I recommend uh, you, you you find it, like it, and then you can see all the listings of all the different shows and who played on what date. So you could refer to it at cfru.ca, www.cfru.ca, and check it out in the archives. Mondays, of course, is our show, and uh, we had Unleash the Archers, who were opening up for a huge band. Um, and it was a Monday night, so they came in and they sat in the studio. So uh, here's a song by Unleash the Archers, and uh, it's going to be called City of Iron. And uh, enjoy this. It's a nice change of pace. Step away from the sun. Embrace the rising tide.
Of the Galactic God. Circles I keep running, starting to make me feel dizzy. It's getting me almost damn near sickening. I don't know if I'll ever become a man I want to be a boy stuck on a playground for eternity. Maybe I should just quit drinking altogether and stop over. Roll on down the spiral to wherever the fuck that goes Until some acquaintance finds me like sniffing a fool of my own
really bad I was chased by angry chickens Cause I ate their chicken wings
What a fun show this has been. We started off with a whole bunch of songs from Jason Rasso's album, The Arrow. Nice, smooth jazz. And uh, as I like to do, I like to uh, you know contrast that with something else so that everybody can kind of have a little bit of uh, a little bit something that caters to their ear. So uh, let's go through what we played. Now, uh, we played a bunch of Jason Rasso stuff and then uh, Unleash the Archers. The album is called Demons of the Astro Waste and the song was called City of Iron. Then we played the Mad Cowboys. I was happy uh, to catch these guys last year. I think they were at uh, the Jimmy Jazz. And the album's called Baby Steps. And the song was called Asking For It. I was looking for another cut off that album, but you can only do so much. Um, then we had uh, Jumple in a song called So Good. Such an amazing band live. It's I'm trying to get them to come to Guelph, but the bands are sort of the, the bars aren't really. Uh, Helping me out. Uh, they don't want to book uh, Friday, Saturday. They only want to book Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Anyway, then I played a song by Bradley Knoll called uh, I Ain't No Prophet, and that's actually a cover of a slightly stupid track. And uh, then Run With The Kittens and a Bangers and Mash cut called You're My Dog. And that's about it. So we've already played some PSAs, but uh, I think I'm going to play a Paul McLeod tune. Mo Coffee's here. What's up, buddy? And, uh, yeah, Mo, check out Mo uh, and, and his buddy coming up next. And uh, I'm going to play Be My Girl, a nice, lovely cut that Paul McLeod uh, recorded. And um, that's going to be it for me today, uh, underplayed and underpaid. That's enough for this installment. And, uh, yeah, have yourselves a lovely week. Make sure you find us on Facebook, underplayed and underpaid. Facebook, like the page. Everything's there from all the shows that we've done. And, uh Thanks for tuning in on 93.3 CFRU. I got no time for the human race. Everybody fighting all over the place. Why don't we grab a bottle and head uptown? Baby, won't you be my girl? I trade my old six shooter for a diamond ring. Take you all the places that you've never been. We'll make a right at the border and just get lost. Baby, won't you be my girl? I ain't got no time for feeling lonely. I got the whole town, baby, on a little old string. Come on, no, tonight you can be my thing. I trade my old six shooter for a diamond ring. Take you all the places that you never been. We'll make a right at the border and just get lost. Baby, won't you be my girl? Town, baby, on a little old string. Come and know tonight you can be my thing. Well, I got no time for the human race. Everybody fighting all over the place. Why don't we grab a bottle and head uptown? Baby, won't you be my girl? Baby, won't you be my girl? Baby, won't you be my girl?